Prajna means wisdom. Prajna means to cultivate both blessings and wisdom in order to comprehend the meanings of both existence and emptiness. It includes both searching for and understanding the nature of wisdom and the form of wisdom. It can eradicate negative habit patterns and bring forth realization of the true nature of dharmas. It is foremost among countless virtues and the guide to innumerable practices. Although it primarily refers to wisdom, it encompasses all other dharmas. Through the practice of wisdom, one leaves behind defilements, exhausts the clinging to phenomenal existence and emptiness, Thoroughly comprehending the tripitaka of both the Mahayana and the Hinayana, one understands conventional and ultimate truth, accomplishes the two causes and deeds, achieves enlightenment and nirvana, and thus reaches the other shore. Both the essence and functioning of wisdom are manifest. Form itself is emptiness. The Mahaprajnaparamita Sutra says, quote, the Buddha said to Sariputra, When a bodhisattva mahasattva is practicing the perfection of wisdom, he or she should contemplate the fact that a true bodhisattva does not perceive a truly existent bodhisattva, nor perceive the name of a truly existent bodhisattva, because a bodhisattva is empty of self-nature, and the name, quote, bodhisattva, is also empty. Here, bodhisattva is elucidated so that beings will not perceive an existent self. For the purpose of breaking attachment to self, it is said that the self is empty. Bodhisattva shows the virtue of study and praises the supreme benefit obtained from the practice of wisdom. The Bodhisattva first practices and then exhorts others to develop their own aspiration. That is, when a person hears that enlightenment is vast and profound and gives rise to the thought of retrogressing, he should encourage himself thus, quote, When Quan Tzu Tsai first brought forth his aspiration, he was full of afflictions, but he developed confidence arising from the shell of ignorance. He gave up his life and wealth in order to seek the wisdom of enlightenment. Being extremely diligent, he realized perfect enlightenment. Likewise, I should encourage myself to heroically increase my practices like him, without belittling myself or retrogressing. Quan means being aware in order to impart wisdom and compassion. Tsutsai means not stagnating, which has the wondrous function of liberating others. When all beings purify the three actions, that is, of body, speech, and mind, and take refuge in Kwan Tzu Tsai, he responds to their prayers and bestows aid through his supernatural powers. His benefit is difficult to conceive. Kwan also means illumination, that is, insight into emptiness and existence. Tzu Tsai means freedom, which is the final result obtained from one's previous practice of the six perfections. Kwan Tzu Tsai Bodhisattva has attained that perfect awakening, which is the stage just prior to Buddhahood. There is no darkness that he does not illuminate. Bodhi means enlightenment, the fruition of wisdom. Sattva means sentient beings. Bodhisattvas enlighten sentient beings by means of their compassion. Because of their great vows, they are called bodhisattvas. Sattva also refers to heroic diligence. Therefore, one who seeks enlightenment heroically with diligence is called a bodhisattva. Sattva can also mean the practitioner, so one who seeks perfect enlightenment or sambodhi is also called a bodhisattva. Guan Tzu Tsai Bodhisattva possesses wisdom and compassion, universally practices kindness, perpetuates the pure lands, and rescues the defiled worlds. The potential of the Bodhisattva and the response of beings are mutually related to one another. Any being who has reached such a high level must possess great aspiration and must have achieved profound wisdom.